What's going on? My name's Jay and today I'm going to show you how to film and edit a frame blocking transition in order to give your videos just a little bit more of that wow factor. Let's take a look. One of the best ways to move your audience from one point of your video to the next without breaking the flow of your video is by using transitions and one of my favorite transitions to use is called frame blocking. Frame blocking is where you cover up your lens at the end of shot one and then you uncover it at the beginning of shot two when you're in a completely different area. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to film a frame blocking transition and then we're going to jump back to the studio and I'm going to show you how to put it all together. Let's get started. The first example of frame blocking that I'm going to show you is the straight on block where I'm going to push my camera into Mike here. I'm going to push it right into his chest and then in the next frame you're going to see me pulling away from a tree. So first shot, I'm pushing into Mike's chest. And then shot number two, I'm just gonna pull away from the tree and pan over to the playground. All right, next, let's take a look at how to use panning in order to block your frame. And for the first shot of this transition, it's actually really simple. We just start focused on our subject and we're gonna pan over and make sure that our frame gets completely blocked. Now, just like before the second shot, we're just gonna pan over and we're gonna uncover the frame and focus on our subject. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I am shooting manual focus. If you don't wanna be bothered with that and you wanna shoot autofocus, that's fine, but if you do it the way that I just did it, it's gonna take your camera a bit to focus on your subject. One thing that I would suggest is maybe going in reverse, starting on your subject and then moving in and covering up your lens and then and when you get back to edit your footage, you can reverse the direction of the shot and it'll look like you filmed it in the right direction. Now the two transitions I've shown you so far are the two most basic transitions that you can do. But if you get a little bit creative, you can actually mix and match these methods and come up with your own transitions. For example, for this shot, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push in to this post and for shot number two we're gonna pan out of subject one's shoulder and over to subject two all right we've got all our shots let's head back to the studio and i'll show you how to put this all together all right we are back in the office getting ready to dive into davinci resolve but before i do that i just wanted to give tech examined and michael fire jr a huge shout out for coming down hanging out with me helping me film this video i'll link both of their channels below Make sure you check them out, give them a watch, give them a like, give them a subscribe if you so desire. And with that, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you how to put together frame blocking transitions. All right, we're in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. You can see I've got all my clips queued up. The very first thing that I wanna do is trim these up. And what I'm looking for is to cut this on the very first frame that's covered up completely on the first clip of the pair and on the very last frame that's covered up completely on the second clip of the pair. So I'm just gonna run through and find those real quick. Went too far. Right there looks good. Delete the excess. Go ahead and find last frame that's covered up over here getting close right, there it is we're gonna go back a few frames go ahead and cut that one delete the excess I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of my clips All right, all my clips are trimmed up and ready to go. The next thing I wanna do is actually something I see a lot of people skipping when they do these types of transitions, and that's to add a speed ramp at the end of the first clip and at the beginning of the second clip. And if you don't know how to do a speed ramp, I do have a tutorial on that. I will link that down below in the description of this video. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this pretty quickly.
All right, now that my speed ramps are done, last thing to do is just butt these clips up together and play them back. By the way, I've got a playlist full of a bunch of video editing tutorials, and most of them can be done on any software. If you want to check that out, that's linked right up here. And right down here, you'll find a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll see you in the next video.